Sherwood Williams Accessible Beige is a popular paint color that's been going strong for the last two decades and I don't see it fading anytime soon. But just because it's a popular paint color doesn't mean that it can work in every home. I help thousands of clients every year and I can't tell you how many times where I've seen a client contact me, they painted their home accessible beige and it was a costly mistake. And the two biggest factors are your fixed elements and the lighting. And it's really important that you get this right. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna show you the undertones of Sharon Williams Accessible Beige, and then I'm gonna compare it with some other similar paint colors so that you get a different perspective of what makes this paint color unique. And then towards the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you a few valuable tips that you should know about Sharon Williams Accessible Beige before deciding if it's really gonna be the right paint color for your home or your space. Can Accessible Beige work in every home? The answer is no. It depends on what you have in your home. For example, if you have a space or a room that has low ceilings, you don't receive a lot of natural lighting, and you don't have the right temperature when it comes to artificial lighting, then chances are it's gonna lean more in the gray side, and I've even seen it where it looks like a warm violet gray, and that's especially true when it comes to artificial lighting. Another really good example is your fixed elements. So if you have cool fixed elements, don't be surprised if accessible beige, it reads muted or muddy, and that's probably not something that you wanna achieve in your space. However, if you have warm, earthy fixed elements, then chances are Sherwin-Williams accessible beige could be the right paint color for your home. So the first thing that you need to know about Sherwin-Williams accessible beige is that it's not a beige. Despite its name, it's actually a warm gray. And because it's a warm gray, which means it has green gray undertones, that makes this paint color a chameleon. And that's really important because it depends on your fixed elements, your interior decor, and especially when it comes to lighting, this paint color can look cool or warm. So I want you to see the undertones for yourself and I'm gonna prove it to you that it has green gray undertones. So watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Shelburne Buff, which is considered a gold beige. Watch this. When you compare Shelburne Buff with Accessible Beige, you're going to instantly see the green undertones of Sharon William Accessible Beige. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Sundew, which is considered a yellow beige. Watch this. When you compare Sundew with Sharon Williams Accessible Beige, you can instantly see the gray undertones of Sharon Williams Accessible Beige. Now you understand why Sharon Williams Accessible Beige is considered a warm gray because it has green gray undertones. Next, I'm gonna compare it with some other similar paint colors so that you can get a different perspective of what makes this paint color so unique. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Modern Gray, which is considered a warm gray. Watch this. When you compare Modern Gray with Accessible Beige, you're gonna notice how Modern Gray is lighter and Accessible Beige is darker. Number two, you're gonna notice how Modern Gray is clean and Accessible Beige is muted. And number three, you're gonna notice how Accessible Beige, it has a little bit more of the green gray undertone as Modern Gray, the green gray undertones is a less pronounced. Watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Agreeable Gray, which is considered a warm gray. Watch this. You're gonna notice how Agreeable Gray is darker than Accessible Beige, as Accessible Beige is lighter than Agreeable Gray. And then you're gonna notice how Agreeable Gray, it leans more on the gray side. And you're gonna notice how Accessible Beige, it's warmer than Agreeable Gray, as Agreeable Gray leans a little bit on the cool side when compared to Sherwin-Williams Accessible Beige. Watch what happens when I compare this with Sherwin-Williams Skyline Still, which is considered a warm gray. Watch this. You're gonna notice how Skyline Still is darker than Accessible Beige, as Accessible Beige is lighter, 
And then you're going to notice how Skyline still, it reads more cool in comparison to Sherman William Accessible Beige, as Accessible Beige reads more warm than Skyline still. Is Sherman Williams Accessible Beige the right undertone for your home? It depends on the type of fixed elements and the lighting that you have in your home. And it's really important that you get a sample of Sherman Williams Accessible Beige, or you can just make your own sample and test it pair it with your fixed elements and see how it looks with the type of lighting you have in your home. I don't want you to make a costly mistake. If you want to save time and you're tired of trying sample after sample and you want to avoid from making a costly mistake, highly recommend you go to my website. I can help you with both interior or exterior paint colors. You're going to get a chance to speak to me in a live video call and I'm going to tell you what will or will not work in your home. And not only that, you're also going to receive a detailed color kit, which is basically a fancy PDF that's going to tell you everything that you need to know and you're going to have the confidence knowing that it doesn't matter which paint colors you select it's going to look absolutely beautiful because it's going to pair correctly with your fixed elements your interior decor and being mindful of the type of lighting that you have in your home and please read the reviews i have over 580 reviews see what clients have to say i would love to help you Next, I'm going to share with you some valuable tips that you should know about Sharon Williams Accessible Beige. Design tip number one, prime your walls. For those of you that are thinking about painting your home or your space with Sharon Williams Accessible Beige, and if your current wall color is darker than Accessible Beige, especially if it's a dark cool gray or if it has yellow undertones or orange undertones, you've got to prime it because if you don't prime it what's going to happen is is that that undertone of your current wall paint color is going to bleed through accessible beige and it's never going to look right it's such an easy mistake to avoid i want you to get this right tip number two don't cut paint colors what happens when you cut a paint color because you're trying to make that paint color lighter what you're really doing is you're changing the ratio of the color and when you change the ratio of that paint color, you're changing the undertones. And when you change the undertones, you're making that undertone unpredictable. You just might as well call it a different paint color name. So if you really want to cut paint colors, please test it and see how it looks with the type of lighting that you have in your home and the type of fixed elements that you have in your home. I'm not a fan of cutting paint colors. There's always an answer. There's always a different paint color. So if you found this video helpful, please put a like, let me know. I want to hear from you and I highly recommend you to subscribe to this channel. If you want to get the most in-depth paint color reviews, I would love to have you here. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.